One day, James had to wait at the station till Edward and his train came in. This made him cross. Late again, Edward laughed and James fumed away. After James had finished his work, he went back to the yard and popped onto the turntable. He was still feeling very bad tempered. Edward is impossible, he grumbled to the others. He clanks about like a lot of old iron. And he is so slow, he makes us wait. Thomas and Percy were indignant. Cold iron? Slow? Why, Edward could beat you in a race any day. Really, said James. I should like to see him do it. Next morning, James's driver was suddenly taken ill. He could hardly stand. So the fireman uncoupled James, ready for shunting. James was impatient. Suddenly, the signalman shouted. There was James puffing away down the line. All traffic halted, he announced at last. Then he told the fireman what had happened. Two boys were on James's footplate, fiddling with the controls. Phew! They tumbled off and ran when James started. The signalman answered the telephone. Yes, he's here. Right. I'll tell him. The inspector's coming at once. He wants a shunter's pole and a coil of wire rope. What for? wondered the fireman. Search me, but you'd better get them quickly. The fireman was ready when Edward arrived. The inspector saw the pole and the rope. Good man, jump in. We'll catch him, we'll catch him, puffed Edward. James was laughing. 